My name is Moira and I'm from eFit30. Come and join me in a six week boot camp challenge and work out like an athlete. We have coaching advice, a diet plan and 30 minutes worth of exercise for you to do every day. Let's get you into winning condition. Hello, my name is Vanessa. I'm personal trainer with Babes on the Run and today I'm going to take you through a 30 minute cardio workout. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to take you through a warm up and then we're going to do a circuit. We're going to go through the circuit twice. So let's start straight away. Let's get stuck straight in with the warm up. So first of all, we're going to do the basic jumping jack. So start position is hand, hands by your side, feet together and you're going to jump them out at the same time. So the purpose of doing a warm up is to get the blood pumping through your heart, get your body to know it's going to start doing some exercise, get ready for exercise. Especially if you're doing exercise in the morning, it's really important to do a warm-up so you can get the blood pumping around your heart. And you're quite stiff when you wake up in the morning after getting out of bed. So it's important to loosen everything up before you jump into a workout. All right, jumping jacks, so you can pick up the pace as you start feeling a bit warmer. Which is going to go for another five seconds here. And then we're going to jump into high knees. So you can start off just jogging on the spot. Get into a comfortable pace. You can stay at this pace if that's what you're comfortable with, otherwise you can start lifting the knees up a little bit higher. And then we're going to change it into bum kicks, so reverse the direction of your feet. You want to try and get your feet as close to your butt as possible. Start pumping the arms as well, and you should feel your heart rate starting to rise. And then let's flick it back over into high knees. Keep your arms pumping, breathe in through your nose, out to your mouth. I'm starting to feel warm, so you should be as well at home. So let's flick it back into bum kicks one more time. Keep breathing, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just 10 more seconds here. All right, so the heart rate should be right up now. We're going to just change into doing some pulsing lunges. So you want to stand with your feet hip width apart. You're going to step your right foot forward and your hands on your hips if you like for balance. Shoulders back, core strong. We're just going to pulse up and down. So make sure you've got a nice straight line in that front shin and a nice straight line in that back calf. You don't want your knee coming forward over your toes. And just breathe. So you can use this as a chance to gather your breath again. All right. Another three seconds on this side. And then just step that foot back. Realign your feet, hip width apart, step left foot forward and straight up and down. Again, check, you've got that nice straight line in your front chin and straight line in your back calf. Breathe in as you go down, breathe out as you push up. Keep the shoulders back, core nice and strong. Imagine there's a piece of string going from your belly button back to your spine. And breathe. Just a couple more seconds here. All right, then we'll just do some body weight squats. So you want to have your feet again hip width apart. Just imagine you're sitting back into a chair. Keep your chest upright by hands in front of your eyes. And just sit back, push up through your heels. Squeeze your butt at the top. That's where you're going to get your tone. So breathe in on the way down. Breathe out as you push up. Just do a couple more of these. All right, body's feeling nice and warm there. So the last thing I'm going to do is just finish off with some push-ups for your warm-up, so just do 10. So you can do these on your knees, on your toes, whichever you're used to. So have your hands at shoulder height, distance apart. Do the first couple up on your toes if you can. You want to squeeze your shoulder blades together down the bottom, and open them out at the top. Three, four, five, drop to the knees if you need to. Six, seven, eight, Nine, one last one, and 10. All right, that's the warm up done. So your whole body should be feeling nice and warm. Your heart rate should be up a little bit. Now we're gonna jump into a circuit. So we're gonna do nine exercises. We're gonna go through the circuit twice. And we're gonna do 30 seconds on each exercise and then 30 second break and change over to the next exercise. All right, so let's get stuck straight in. We don't need any equipment for this. We're gonna just use a mat, as you have one at home. So the first exercise we're gonna do is a burpee, everyone's favorite. 
and my clients always complain when I do these. So the start position is hands on the mat, feet in close to your hands. You're going to jump the feet out, an explosive movement. Come down, touch the chest off the ground, push up, jump the feet back in together and jump up in the air. That's one. So you're going to keep doing that as quick as you can. Jump the feet in, clap if you like. Hands down, feet out together, chest down for one minute, one second even. Jump up. I'm just going to do that for 30 seconds. Just got another couple. And up. Just slow it down if you're starting to get tired. You want nice fluid movement. All right, and that's burpees. So now you can take 30 seconds to recover, get your heart rate and your breath back. And the next put, um, exercise we're gonna do is a push-up. So it's exactly the same as we did in the warm-up. So you can do it on your knees or on your toes. You can challenge yourself and start off, maybe do the first couple on your toes and then jump into doing them on your knees. So I'm gonna start off on my toes. So the start position is hands shoulder height. You want your toes tucked under, push up. You want to open your chest out by pushing your shoulder blades together down the bottom. Breathe out at the top. Drop to your knees if you need. And just do as many as you can in 30 seconds. Got that enough 10 seconds there. Another couple. That's it. Again, we've got another 30 seconds rest. So that's two of the exercises done. So we've done burpees, we've done push-ups. Next we're gonna do jump squats. So with the jump squats, what you wanna do, same as what we did in the beginning with the warm-up, you wanna have your feet hip width apart. So look down, make sure they're under your hips. Lots of people stand like this, your hips aren't that wide. Bring them back in to hip width apart. Roll the shoulders back, core on nice and tight. So imagine there's a belly button, there's a belly button. There's a piece of thread going from your belly button back to your spine. So you wanna keep that in nice and tight because that protects your lower back as well. Roll the shoulders back, and what you want to do is jump up in an explosive movement and point your toes as you jump, and you want to sit down as low as you can. So we'll start off, jump up, down. It's one fluid movement, don't stop in between. Land softly on your toes. You don't want to clump down on your feet, you'll hurt your knees. Send your hips back, slow it down. If you're finding that too hard, just take it a little bit slower. Just do as many as you can in 30 seconds. If that's only 10, that's fine. If it's 20, that's even better. You can do one a second 30, and you're pretty fit. All right, then slow it down. Just a couple more. And that's your 30 seconds done for your jump squats. So then, again, you've got 30 seconds for your breath to recover. I need to get my breath back. And then your next exercise, so at this point you've done your burpees, your push-ups, your jump squats. Next, we're gonna do side-to-side -side lunge, so we're still focusing on the legs. All right, so your start position for this is you wanna stand wide with your feet, and we're gonna go over to the right-hand side to start off with because remember we're going through the circuit twice, so the second time round we can go out to the left hand side. So we're just going to start in 10 more seconds of time, roll the shoulders back, core nice and strong, um, again tight core of protect your lower back, and we're just going to get the glutes down as low as you can over to the right hand side, and back to centre. Lower down you get with your glutes, the, lower, the more glute activation you'll get, the shape your body will get for summer. It and breathe. Low as you can go, the better. Don't worry about speed on this one. Just do as many as you can. It's important to keep good form in this one. And keep your shoulders from back at the top. Just another couple here. Two more. That's it. All right, another 30 seconds to recover. So it's nice, nice long breaks I've planned in for this week. So you've got 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. We'll get on to later weeks, we'll have shorter recovery time and longer on the workout. But as you go through it, you can actually increase the seconds if you need to. So next one we're gonna do is a plyo jack. So again, working on the legs. Start position is your feet close together into a half squat. And you wanna jump the arms out in explosive movement and jump the legs at the same time into a standing squat. So jump out and hold for a second and jump back in. So the trick is to stay down nice and low. Engage the quads, engage the glutes. Nice and low. Nice and slow and controlled. Again, we're just going for 30 seconds. So this will give you a chance for your heart rate to come back down a little bit. Grab your breath. We're still working those legs. You start feeling the burn in front of your legs and your quads. It's your biggest muscle group. It's the one that definitely burns the most. Another couple here. 
one more, and that's it. 30 second break. Give the legs a bit of a shake out. Probably burning a little bit at this point. Let's give them a little shake out. Again, grab your breath. Grab your shoulders back, keep your core nice and tight. Get ready for the next exercise. So the next one we're gonna do is a tricep dip. So you can use a chair or you can use a step in your house. I'm gonna use a step that I've got here, but anything that'll give you a bit of height. What you wanna do is sit down on your step or your chair, bring your hands in close to your bum, roll the shoulders back, and bring the feet in close to your bum. What you wanna do is you don't want the shoulders to fall forward, keep them back, chest nice and high, and you wanna squeeze your arms together on the tricep dip. So this is when we're working the back of our arms. Bingo wings, as you like to call them. So this is the bit that's really hard to tone. It's the smallest part of our arms. Doing these a few times a week, will shape and tone that difficult part of your body, of your arms. All right, just another couple here. 10 more seconds. So don't let the shoulders drop down. Squeeze the elbows back nice and tight. Keep the core switched on. So belly button into spine. And breathe. Breathe out at the top in at the bottom. All right. So we're nearly there. That's our sixth exercise in the circuit. We've got three more to go. So the next one we're going to do is burpee mountain climbers. So we did the burpees at the start. Now we're just adding in a mountain climber. It's just two mountain climbers onto the, um, the move. So again, we start with our hands down in front of our feet, jump the feet out, then run in one, two, one, two, jump the feet back out and in and up. That's one rep. So come down again, jump the feet out, run in one, two, jump them in and up. Just a couple more to go. Jump the feet out, one, two, jump them in at the same time. And up, and one last one. One, and two, and up. All right, hard part's done. We've got two ones left and we're actually lying on the mat. So the first one is your basic crunch. So it's good because you get to lie down. So position yourself so that your feet are in quite close to your bum. You want to put your hands behind your ears. Keep them, your elbows out of your line of sight. And you just literally want to breathe in, and breathe out as you crunch up. make it a little bit harder, what you can do is lift up your heels, go up on your pointy toes and breathe. It's a really small movement, you want to contract your lower abs and you don't want to push your neck up, you just want to take it nice and slow. Just another couple of reps here, two more and last one. All right, so exercise number nine is your side plank. So remember which side you've done in the first round of the circuit because you're going to have to do the side on the other end. So we'll do our um, left hand side to start off with. So what you want to do is position your elbow so it's under your shoulder. You don't want it too far out like that otherwise you're going to feel it in your shoulder. So bring it in, stack it under your shoulder. Get your legs nice and straight, you want your body in a straight line. Just for beginners you can just bend that bottom leg and push up. Arm in the air. If you're more advanced, bring your feet together, push up and hold it there. Got about 15 more seconds to go. And breathe, keep those hips up nice and high. Body in a nice straight line, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Got five seconds. Three, two, and one. And come down. All right, that's the first round of the circuit done. We're gonna take a quick um, five second break to go to ads and when we come back, so grab a water, grab um, a sweat towel, on your break and then come back and we'll do a second round of the circuit. Okay, thank you. All right, welcome back everyone. I hope you enjoyed the little break. So I've got a little surprise for you now. That was actually just a trial run. We're keeping the two rounds of the circuit to now. So that was just you feeling your way through the circuit. You know the exercises now. So I'm gonna go, go straight through it two rounds. I'm gonna do 40, 20, because I think 30, 30 is a little bit easy. So 40 seconds on, 20 second changeover. Let's get straight into it. We're gonna do burpees first. All right, and let's go. Hands down on the shoulders, kick the feet out. You know what you're doing this time. Just second round through. Just keep the feet going, explosive movement, chest to the ground, and up. And keep focusing on the breathing. Take your time, slow it down. If you're starting to get a bit puffed, just slow the movement down. Just another 20 seconds to go. It's important to jump the feet in at the same time, just 10 seconds left. One more. 
All right, 20 second break. So get yourself ready for the next exercise, which is push-ups. So again, if you're feeling a bit fatigued at this point, do it on your toes, it's absolutely fine. I mean, do it on your knees. Um, you can start off doing one on your toes if you like. Let's get straight into it in five seconds time. Let's get into position on the mat. Hands, shoulder height, and let's go straight into it. Drop to the knees if you need to. Breathe into the nose at the bottom. Let's the mouth at the top. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Nice and slow and steady. There's no race. Just do as many as you can in the 40 seconds. And breathe. Keep your core nice and tight. Protect that lower back. Don't arch it. Squeeze those shoulder blades. I think we've got 10 seconds left. And last one. All right. Next one to the jump squats. So again, if you remember this one was feet hip width apart. So you're going to do the same as we're doing for the body weight squats, except we're going to add in a jump. So you want to send the hips backwards and you want to jump up in the air, explosive movement and point the toes. All right, we're going to get started in four seconds. And let's go. And breathe. And slow these down as well. Feeling a bit tired? Just slow down the pace. Don't stop altogether. Halfway there on this one. Watch the knees aren't collapsing in down the bottom. Push them out at the bottom. Push to the heels. Quad's starting to burn now. Another 10 seconds. So you can push out another couple. Two more. And time. All right, next one we got is the side to side lunge. So, what we're going to do for this one, we're going to do the other side. So, we did the right hand side the first time, now we're going to do the left hand side. Let's get straight into it in 10 seconds time. So we're going to head out over to the right, or over to the left, sorry. We've already done the right. So let's go in five seconds time. Roll the shoulders back, core nice and tight. We're going to get the bum down as low as you can, and let's go. Back to center. Use this as a chance to get your breathing back. And jump around the place to the last couple of exercises. Just control your breath. Take a deep breath, deep breath in, and out. Bum down nice and low. Don't forget to breathe. That's it. Just about five more seconds. A couple more at this side. All right. Next we're into um, what did I just do? Side to side lunge. We're doing plyo jacks next. So again, remember that we started off with our feet together. So we're in a half squat. We're going to jump the arms and the um, legs out at the same time. So go in one second. Jump it out. Circle the arms overhead and breathe. Get down nice and low. You're starting to feel the burn. Just slow it down. Let's keep doing the movement. Let's pause for a second, the bottom of each one. Just got another couple to go here. That's it, another two more. One more. That's it. All right, next we're going to jump into the lost my place, tricep dips. So back in the chair or the um, step that you're using. Roll the shoulders back. Start in a couple of seconds. We're just going to lower our bum off the plate, off the step. Squeeze our elbows tight. Work at the back of our arms. So keep the shoulders back and breathe. Squeeze your elbows together. Keep your core nice and tight. Smile like you're enjoying. Again, chance to catch your breath. We're going to the next one. More burpees. The burpees. A few here. Grab your breath. Into the nose, extra the mouth. 
All right. So remember the burpees mountain climber, we jump the feet out, we do two mountain climbers, jump the feet in, and back up so the chest isn't touching the ground on this one. So we've got 10 seconds before we go into it again. So let's get into position. Same start position as burpee, and let's go. Do two mountain climbers. Jump up, keep the breathing steady and even. One more out. And up. All right. We're going to get lie down on the mat again. Remember, we do the crunches next. I'll just move my timer over here so I can hear it. All right, we're going to lie down on our backs, feet in towards our bum, hand behind our head. Keep the elbows out of the line of sight if you can. Lift those heels to make it a little bit stronger. Breathe in at the bottom, breathe out at the top of the crunch. Don't push your neck, and let's go. Use this for the chance to get some air into the lungs again. The burpees really leave you out of breath, especially when you add in the mountain climbers. Let's try that out with my boot camp girls. She'll be loving that. That's the burpees are my favourite. All right, and breathe. That's it. Nearly there. Last couple. Breathe out the top and at the bottom. All right. Once the last one, we're going to do a side plank. So we did the other side last time. We'll do the um, left hand side this time. So again, you want to stack your shoulder under your shoulder. Stack your shoulder under your shoulder. Stack your elbow under your shoulder. You don't want it too far out, otherwise you're going to feel this in your shoulder instead of your side of your body, where it's just to feel it. So easy option. Bend your bottom knee. Make sure your body's in a nice straight line. Harder option. Stack your feet. Make sure they're together. And up. And breathe. Enjoy the silence. Keep the hips up as high as you can, don't let them drop. As you get tired, your hips are gonna to wanna to drop down towards the mat. Keep them up, keep sense checking that they're up there. If you find this too hard, bend your bottom knee. Otherwise, keep holding it with me. We've got 10 seconds left. And breathe. Keep the shoulder back, don't tip forward. Hips up, four more seconds. All right, one last round to go. All right, so we're going to get exactly the same through again. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. This is the last round, I promise. There isn't any more surprise rounds thrown in. Oh, I do like surprises. Upside down. So we're going to go five seconds, straight back into burpees. I said it was the last set play. Totally a lie. All right, jump the feet out. Nice and slow, controlled. Fifteen seconds left. Another couple. One more for good measure. That's it. All right. Down to push-ups. The last set of push-ups. If you're feeling tired at this point, just do them all on your knees. That's absolutely fine. You do the first few on your toes, which is grand. So let's go straight into it. We've got five seconds, here we go again. Use that time to grab your breath. And let's go. That's it, we're halfway there. Not too many left, just slow it down. If your arms are feeling wobbly and they're feeling tired, just slow it down. We're in the third round now, so you're doing well to get this far. It's the first round we just really worked on technique. With shorter breaks in the circuit, I'm oh, sorry, shorter lengths of 
exercise and circuit this time, we're increasing the intensity, doing 40 seconds. All right, what are we up to next? Jump squats. All right, upside down. All right, we're going 10 seconds. So again, imagine you're sitting back into a chair. Feet, start off hip width apart. We're going five seconds, shoulders back, core on. Fluid movement. Halfway there. Push up through the feet. Send the hips back at the bottom. Slow it down. If you're getting tired. Ten seconds left. Just over. Give me another couple. And time. All right, next we got side to side lunge. Some more legs. So we did left hand side last time. We're going to do both sides to even it out this time. So grab your breath, shoulder back again, core switched on. Get ready to rock and roll in about five seconds time. All right, grab your breath, grab my breath. And let's go side to side. So we're doing both sides this time because it's the third round of the circuit. So we're even it out. Get nice and low. And breathe. That's it, you're doing well. Not far off the end. We're halfway through. Last round, you're doing really well. So you see how by adding the extra 10 seconds, increases the intensity of the workout. As you get fitter, you can add on another five seconds. Keep adding it on until you really challenge yourself. Because the last thing you want is it for it to be too easy. All right, fire jacks. So, I don't know if I can see it. So, fire jacks. Again, we're going to start in the half squat position. Grab your breath, shoulders back, core on. And, go. Drop head, and in. Nice slow move. Circle the arms over the head and breathe. That's it. Doing well. 20 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Slow it down. Some legs are burning. Take it nice and slow. And a couple. One more. Once the arms now, we've done enough on the legs. It's a tricep dip. Perfect. Trip every step. Roll the shoulders back. We've got 10 seconds before we start. Keep the shoulders back, elbows pushed together, core tight. And again, a couple of seconds. It, keep breathing, squeeze those elbows together. Watch out, collapsing the shoulders forward. Halfway there, 20 seconds. That's it, 10 more seconds, we're nearly there. Push out those last few, burns in the last few sets. That's grand, we're nearly there. Five seconds, another three if you can. And two. One more, there we go. All right, third last exercise. Burpee Mountain Climbers. All right, <laughs> so we've got five seconds, we're gonna start again. So remember, we kick the feet out, two Mountain Climbers, jump the feet back in again. All right, let's go, jump the feet out. Halfway there, 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. Grab your breath, a couple more in. One more. Time. 
Right, we've just got two left. Crunches and side plank. Okay, so back on our backs. Hard stuff is done. Now we've got the easy abs. All right, be close to the bum again. Elbows behind our ears. Grab your breath. And let's go. Forgot I was on camera there. I was getting cold. Lost in the crunches. Keep bringing that breathing back and don't push the neck. A couple more. All right, we're going to finish off with front plank this time because we've done both sides. So we don't want to keep it uneven. So we'll just throw in a front plank, plank, plank even for the last one. All right, we're going to start in five seconds' time. So we're going to stack the elbows under our shoulders. So make sure your shoulders are relaxed away from your ears. Suck your belly button back into your spine. Breathe. Look forward over your hands to elongate your spine. And keep squeezing that core nice and tight. Nice strong core means a nice strong back. So it's really important to engage your core in every exercise that you do, especially the plank. Another one of the favorites with our clients, they love the plank. All right, we've got just a few seconds left here. And time. All right, hard stuff's done. Whereas the easy stuff now the stretching. So really important, as I said, to do a cool down and stretch down at the end of um, each workout. So I'm just going to start off in a simple child's pose. So sit back on your heels as far as you can. Walk the fingers forward. This is a nice stretch for your arms, your lower back. Walk the fingers down a little bit more. You want more of a stretch. And it's really important to stretch out all the different muscles in your body because we've used pretty much all of them in the workout that we've done today. The three rounds that you've done well done. I tricked you into thinking it was only two. All right, then come up. You can stay in sitting position. That's to stretch out the triceps. Grab your shoulders. And just um, push the elbow back. Hands travels down at your back. All those tricep dips that you did off the step or off the chair. And then let's swap it out the other side. Important to stretch both sides of the body, even it out. Then we'll just flick it over onto our sides, stretch out the quads. Pull the top heel, bottom leg out straight, top heel up to your bottom. So we did lots of squats, lunges, jump squats, burpees. Push it through. Flick it out the other side. Bottom leg straight. Top foot up to your bum. Really pull that heel right back. So you feel a nice big stretch down the front of your leg. And then we'll just flick it over onto our back. We'll do our glutes. So Interlock your heel over your knee. Pull that thigh back towards you. And push the top knee away from you. And you feel that nice stretch in your bum. And then swap it out to the side. Push it through. And your breath should be just about back to normal then. All right. Come on up. And just do a quick shake out your torso side to side. Give yourselves a wee clap, well done. You got through your 30 minute workout. Thank you.